Hi everyone, Brad here. Um, I wanted to do a, a quick video this morning of uh, the assembly of my semi-portable solar power generator. Um, I'm not going to really get into the specifics of why I chose certain components and get into all the calculations of amp hours, voltage, stuff like that. There's a lot of stuff out there that, that you can do your own research. Um, basically I put together this system on what I felt I would need. So um, I want the video to be pretty much just a step-by-step -step tutorial of how I actually put the components together versus you know what you should do. Um, I saw a lot of videos on the internet and they pretty much just showed you the system after it was completed and they really didn't show you how step-by-step -step to kind of put it all together which would have been really helpful. Um, basically, there are four major components that you need for a solar power generator. First one being your solar panel. Um, this one that I went with is a 20 watt solar panel. Um, I might need a second. I decided to expand my system a little bit larger than I had originally planned after I had already purchased the solar panel. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see how this uh, works with charging the batteries and if need be I can easily add another panel. Second item you need is the charge controller. Uh, basically, what this does is it goes in between your solar panel and your battery bank, and it basically regulates the charge on the batteries and prevents an overcharge. Which, if you don't know what happens in an overcharge, it, you could have catastrophic failure. The battery could melt down, uh, could cause a fire. You don't want that, especially since batteries are pretty expensive. Third component you need is an inverter. Um, I went with this one. Uh, this is an 800 watt continuous inverter with a 1600 watt peak. It has two 120 plugs, USB port. Um, I know a lot of people will probably ask, is it modified sine wave or I think the other model is normal or standard sine wave, which is a modified. Uh, the basic difference is that the modified sine wave inverters are a little bit cheaper, but they're a little less efficient. So, in a nutshell, that's, that's the difference. Fourth thing you need is a battery bank. Now, I was originally going to go with a 12 volt marine battery, but I figured I would try doing two 6 volt golf cart batteries just because it would give me a longer duration. Um, a larger supply of electricity. I'll show you the batteries. Now, <clears throat> the batteries I have in this, uh, it's a work box. I just picked it up from Lowe's. It was a last minute addition to my project, so I realized that I need other components to go along with that because you really don't want to enclose batteries in a uh, container like that. So, since I Kind of bought that after the fact again i'm going to have to modify that and that, that'll be a different project and basically i just need to add a 12 volt computer fan just to exhaust any fumes that might occur when the batteries are charging because those could also be hazardous and uh, the only other thing i needed was um i needed one of these little uh, uh i guess you could call it a, a jumper cable uh, basically this just ties the two batteries together. Since I went with two 6 volts, I need to connect them and that will make a 12 volt battery. And uh, then wiring. I just got some 10 gauge wiring. Couldn't find a lot of this stuff so I picked up what I could. Got about 32 feet of it. Um, I went with 10 gauge just because it was the largest gauge that the charge controller would accept. And um, bigger is always better. And then, other than that, just uh, gold-plated ring terminals, so we'll connect the wire up to the battery. And then I got these butt splicers, and um, this is just going to allow me to ex extend the length of the cable that goes to the solar panel. The cable was pretty small. Um, I'd like to get a much longer wire so I can really move the solar panels to the most ideal location, but for right now, this will do the trick. So, that's about it. Uh, let's get started.